Now, according to the biopsychosocial model, typically, traditionally speaking, when dealing with a woman with chronic pelvic pain or vaginismus or dyspareunia, it has been conceptualized that there are physical components and psychological components, and the psychosocial aspects of these conditions, which include anxiety and aversion, catastrophizing, what's going on in the relationship, that's the part that's attributed to the mental health professionals. That's what the psychologists and the sex therapists deal with. However, the physiological aspects, whether it's treatment, local treatment, medical treatment, um, and treatment for the pelvic floor, that's, attribute to, that's attributed to the medical professionals, the physician and the physical therapists. It is the physical therapist who is going to be the most likely to confront the patient's anxiety in real time. However, physical therapists are not the ones who typically receive adequate skills in dealing with psychosocial components, such as anxiety. So that's basically the problem with this model. First of all, the model is compartmental. It makes the client feel that she only should talk about psychological things with the psychologist and physical things with the physical therapist and the doctor. The other problem is that what we said fear avoidance and anxiety are significant characteristics of the patient's response to physical examination. And by the way, it mirrors what happens in the sexual setting. The same thing happens when they try to be with their partners, they become anxious. Thank you.